here's today's project. This is a little 70's black and white Sony. And some of you will remember the video into the line for Harvey's TV shop. It was a TV shop here in Los Angeles that went out of business and I uh, went down and made a video on it. The video is called End of the Line for Harvey's TV Shop. And I picked this up from there. I guess it was something a customer didn't want to fix. This is a Sony TV 960. What's cool about these is they'll run on 12 volts. So I kind of want to fix this thing. I believe I plugged it in and it didn't have a raster. It's just totally dark. So uh, let's check it out. See what's up. All right, let's see what happens here. in treating little tuxedo people. Just give it to me straight, Doc. Am I going to have to pay for this? Hmm. Oh, my. What can you do for him, Dr. Princess? Without Gunter, I'll be all alone. You see, I'm a widower. Oh, I'm sorry. Completely dark. Your wife all right, let's have a look at the inside. That's a good sign. and see if there's any high voltage. This is perhaps not the brightest thing I've ever done, but uh, it appears there is some some high voltage. Not much, however. About eight kilovolts. Let me pull a SAMS on this and see what it's supposed to be. Look at this, I just noticed this when I turn it off. Right in the middle. Right in the middle of the screen, a little dot. Okay, well, the 8 kilovolts looks okay. That says 10, and I'm sure my meter's a little bit low. So I guess the next thing to check are these voltages right here. Because um, 
comes to the brightness and the brightness gets it from a hundred volt boost I imagine that could be gone so let's check pin 2 geez all there really is is pin 2 that's it all the grids are grounded, just pin 2. Everything's on pin 2. The cathode. If anybody was interested, this is from uh, 1975. Sony TV 960. So looking at this, it's got three wires. This is great. It's got uh, brown and black, which brown is filament. And black is ground for the filament and for the CRT and then yellow which is the video signal and that's it all those other capacitors and resistors um, so all we need to do is check this yellow wire and see if we're getting the uh, recommended voltage or the specific voltage okay let's see if we can see this in the camera I'm gonna probe that pin right now it's at what 53 volts and I'm going to adjust the brightness control turning the brightness down I can literally go to half a volt I could go to 90 volts by turning the brightness control so what else is there it has to be a bad CRT We've got high voltage, we've got filament, and we can adjust the cathode all the way from ground to uh, full brightness, and all the other pins are grounded. Uh, I guess I could check and see if my CRT tester will do this one. Okay, the CRT is a CT503G, and my Super Mac actually has this in here. And it's 12.3 volt filament, bias is A. Uh, socket, I got that already. So let's go up to uh, filament set. Let's go up to 12 volts. This is what you're seeing here is the filament, not the emission. We'll go up to uh, yeah, that's a little bit hot. That's about 13 volts, and then we will go to gun balance, which is cut off and emission. Gee, any surprise there? I wonder if maybe the um, the cathode connection wire is broken. I've run into that before, and sometimes you can sometimes you can weld it, but it's double check my settings here. here we're black and white, we're on CRT test, we're on emission, got this cranked all the way up, sockets on good, double check this one more time, 503, 12.3 volts, bias is A, that's only for the cutoff, and socket is 5, and that's correct. Well, that's very disappointing, but that would make sense why the customer left it at the TV shop unrepaired and never picked it up. 
would have been a cool TV to have. I have other little Sony black and whites that will run on 12 volts, but I kind of like the profile of this one. It's pretty cool. Uh, kind of disappointing, but not surprised. Just for the fun of it, I cranked the the filament voltage up as high as this thing will put out, which is about oh I don't know, it's 15 volts and it's just pegging it, so it's probably like uh, 20 volts or so, 18 volts, you can see how bright that is and I am getting a little emission there so I kinda doubt it's an open cathode lead, it's just dead 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 dead